for those of you that asked me to make this video on how I lost my pregnancy weight. Well, here you are. Hi guys, my name is Bola J, as you all know. Let's get into it. Um, a new mom my baby just turned one as you all know so it's important that we have this conversation but before I get into anything I'd like you guys to subscribe if you haven't follow my Instagram page if you don't and and then let's get into this um so the first step of losing that pregnancy weight is basically breastfeeding so a lot of young girls nowadays don't want to breastfeed because they feel like oh Oh no, I want to snap back. First and foremost, that's the first thing that's going to help you snap back. You want to snap back, that's it. Bring out your boobs, clean the nipple, give it to the baby. You would lose weight. And I'll tell you why. Because um, when you breastfeed, your uterus goes back. It's shrinking back to normal. And when you're breastfeeding, you're burning calories. You're burning the amount of calories exercise cannot give you. You're burning the amount of calories frog jump will not give you. You're burning calories. And that's why it's so important to breastfeed. And other than that, I know this has nothing to do with the weight loss section. You're giving your baby nutrients that goats milk or cow milk or whatever formula is made of cannot give them. That's a secret. I'm sure you know it's you just being selfish you know your baby's taking all the good all the goodness in your body and you're losing weight so I always had my bowl of popo or my grapefruit not grapes you 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 bring out your ut the the uterus of the baby or your uterus and the baby's uterus I don't know who owns that uterus Uter, u uterus uterus I beg this is not an English class so you lose that that comes out so you've lost maybe like six kg seven kg so it's e even easy for you to walk to lose the rest for me before I got pregnant I was I think 49 kg when I was almost having Rosie ha more was 62 money in me <laughs> knowing myself I'm going to lose you you cannot be my destiny losing you now so I made a conscious effort people will say no ah oh she be more we need latin jam jam wah bolaji we need latin jam but guess what guys i ate but i ate the right things that takes me to point two i mean that's another point on its own so what i was trying to say is people say oh i'm breastfeeding but it's zapping it's zapping my energy i'm dizzy yes eat what's wrong with a bowl of salad what's wrong with bananas what's wrong with popo what's wrong with a uh, a friend is saying, a friend is saying, what's the name of this thing again? Oh, me paucho. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Nothing. Eat right. Eat right. Take oranges. Snack. Snack right. Take avocado. Sprinkle some black pepper on it and eat it. What? So even if you want to eat a proper meal, your portion of carbs should be very minimal. And then a lot of veggies. And then, you know, I always did. Well, we'll get there. Anyway, so my second point will be hydration. Uh, how many of you remember when you go into the hospital for a scan the doctor will tell you drink water water is your friend guys drink water I don't have a bottle around me but drink water hydrate you know hydrate 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 drink water water helps with your breast um, your breast milk flow water helps you lose all the uh, I'm not a nutritionist now. What was that word? All the dirty, dirty in your body. Water, just hydrate, literally hydrate. Stay away from sodas, stay away from Coke, stay away from Schweppe, stay away from Maltina. Ah, mu Maltina, palumi kati ugu. Mu Maltina, palumi kati ugu. Ma mu, ma You know what I mean? So don't drink Maltina, stay away from. And guess what? I'm a Maltina fan. If anybody should be an ambassador for Maltina, it's me, please. So all you marketing agencies there. I'm looking to be an ambassador for Maltina. I love Maltina. I Jack Bay, Muleji. In the middle of the night, Latin Maltina. But I did not take it at that point. Why? Because I was trying to get back to my post pregnancy body. Is it post pregnancy body? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. So I wasn't taking anything. I was taking when I had to take anything. It was either tea or, you know, stuff like that. So hydrate. Hydrate. I cannot emphasize enough on hydration. 
make sure you're always hydrated make sure you're always drinking water even not because of you it helps with weight loss but even the baby the baby needs you to be well hydrated to produce breast milk and remember breast milk <laughs> anyway i'm giving you that point so number three is eat right and what i mean eat right nothing like amala ah mo fe je amala ba mi ra amala pelu ti po mo ati shaki ati wedu ati begiri you know all those amalas you see the oil is dancing skelewu 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 well no you don't need it you don't need all those things what you need is eating clean i ate clean for the longest guys i can't even emphasize i can't emphasize i ate clean I eat rice i'm not saying don't eat rice but minimize the portion of the carbs eat more protein eat more veggies that's how i was eating and then i'll have a lot of vegetables i'll have my purple cabbage and my carrots and i'll try have a salad on the side and then i'll have maybe turkey or if you don't have if it doesn't have to be anything bougie titus fish is okay croaker fish is okay you don't have to do salmon or sea bass but just eat healthy so whatever however you take in anything is what is going to be there it's not magic it's not going to manifest into something else so guys eat healthy eat clean that's another point that's what i did i'm sharing with you some people say hey, i do it i do it i must say maybe you're eating in your dream if you are eating ld and you are still adding weight booyah you want journey a lie so stop eating in your dream <laughs> um drink tea i drank guys <laughs> first and foremost when i when i just had rosie my sister chattered what's the name of that tea again the brand was yogi it was nursing tea it was a nursing tea because the next day by the next day i had said breastfeeding my baby nothing is coming out no, nothing is coming out nothing is coming. who tells you nothing is coming out there's something called what's that thing called again before the actual flow of the breast milk that's the most important thing it's called um but i'm sure i remember and i'll place it up there so you know um that's the most important thing that's what the baby needs for development it's my sister was emphasizing it don't worry just keep putting the mouth of the nipple it worked so um i i took a lot of teas I took tea i did not take tea and milk what i did was i took a lot of like green teas and then with honey in my tea and then with lemon google is your friend google it i googled it lemon is beautiful so for all of you that have been saying don't give the baby lemon no please 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 i said take the lemon i need to give the baby lemon take the honey don't give the baby honey babies are not to take honey babies are not to take peanut butter Till a certain age babies are not to take um um lemon but they can take it through you because your body would have processed it into nutrients for the baby do not take it do not give your baby directly anyways um so we checked it and for those of you that would always um send me a message saying but i just sorry please uh what's what's rosie using on her skin what do you use for rosie um what does rosie eat Rosie ate breast milk exclusively for six months. I started introducing little bits and bobs of porridge when she was seven months. First, Rosie, I was drinking my lemon and eating my fruits. My breakfast, I wake up in the morning, I have my bowl of popo. I will still sprinkle the lemon on it and eat it. A big bowl of popo. So they can peel a whole popo for me. I will finish it. Yes. Maybe I wanted to eat. That was my... So even if I wanted my tummy full or feel like my tummy was full i was eating the right things to make sure that my tummy felt that way or to make sure that you know my tummy was full so i'll have a bowl of pop and i won't be hungry till like maybe two o'clock then i'll i'll snack on my grapefruits or mangoes there was this healthy place i used to buy um homegrown mangoes from in a, on our lower road my sister introduced me to the lady awesome ah my dear mango you then afterwards, maybe at 4 o'clock, I'll have a little bit of rice and a lot of avocado and then maybe chicken or turkey on the side or fish, you know. But I took teas, my teas, my teas. So the first point, let me take you guys back, is breastfeeding. Second is hydration. Third is eat right. We're on the fourth point, drink teas. Please stay away from milk. Stay away from milk. Stay away from milk. You drinking cow milk doesn't help you produce the most nutritious milk for your 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 daughter or your son you eating right and eating look my breast milk was filled with vitamins they may go more quick if i drank my own breast milk ah ah complexion me might change ah guys so eat right if you eat right your child gets all the nutrients eating right is not eating milo and milk eating right is not eating rice and amala eating right is not eating pounded yam and egusi and 
um, I had CS, so I was trying to ensure that I didn't have a pouch on my lower tummy. Anyways, I took a lot of teas, a lot of teas. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to take lemon when you just have a baby. It helps you, it helps the baby. All the antioxidants, all the nutrients, all the bobo tibo goes to your baby, goes to you then gets transferred to the baby. I'm boring you guys, I can't feel. Okay, so my next point, which is my last point, I think, is I took my magic tea. In fact, that tea should be called Bee's Antioxidants, guys. So that's the same tea I spoke about when I was um, during the coronavirus. It's not like Corona has stopped, but yeah, during cor coronavirus, that's what I took. Um, as you all know, I, I've even done a video on it. So go look, go and look on my page. Lord Wolori page me, you will find it, okay? Where I mix like garlic, ginger, cayenne pepper, lemon, and honey. And I pour hot water and I drink. <laughs> you want to lose weight? Girl, you're going to lose weight. So when I was um, seven weeks postpartum, I had already gotten my body back. And I had a CS, so there's no excuse. Then please, I know that a lot of doctors here, a lot of hospitals here, will say don't tie your tummy. They, I mean, I don't blame them because a lot of Nigerian girls go and tie the tummy and say, oh yeah, they say we can tie tummy. So they rather not tell you to tie your tummy. But in the States, when you have surgery, any abdominal surgery, they give you an abdominal binder. It's not a waste cincture. It's not going to give you a figure. It's going to help your abdomen heal and your um, muscles to go back to their respective places how they used to be before you understand and firm um so yeah i took this tea every day and i still take it and it's awesome my husband takes it so i won't talk much on the tea because i think i should start selling this thing i'm just giving people free but this is my bonus points you guys um and yeah i mean so that's it it's it's what it is if you have any questions for me concerning this please feel free to ask or drop it in the comment below i want to post this video on my youtube and i'm going to post it you people will go and watch it on youtube you will watch it on instagram you will watch it on instagram but you will you you, you have to find yourself on youtube and subscribe how about that subscribe if you want more topic please subscribe subscribe to my channel i know that i've not been on youtube for a long time but it doesn't mean that you should not subscribe I'll be waiting for my video to come out nonsense anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being patient because i know that as i've said this thing now People have to have a mala beside them. Say, on on so bullshit. Girl, you slim. Oh, Jerry, on so bullshit is a lie. If I want to be like a sack of rice, I could have been. But I was disciplined. So, guys, please pick one or two things from here. And um, try to try to implement it. If Even if you're six months gone, it's never too late. You know what I mean? Please breastfeed. Breastfeed your child. Breastfeed your child. Breastfeed your child. Me, I'm even happy because I saved a lot of money. Rosie is one. I'm still breastfeeding. Shake away for me, Amy. You give it down. My daughter is so healthy. Have you seen her? She's sleeping. She's so healthy. Oh, healthy to jack me. Oh, healthy to jack me. <laughs> Breastfeed your child. Don't say Bolaji did not tell you. Breastfeeding is is so 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 good. So good. So that's in fact for me that was the number one. Every other thing is an addition. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being patient to watch me talk to you and learning from me. I hope you learned one or two things and I hope you implement one or two things from here. Um, so if you want me to, to speak on any other topics concerning pregnancy and childbirth and child, you know, skincare, whatever, 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 let me know. And if you want any videos on um, stretch marks, I used to prevent stretch marks. But I don't have a single stretch mark, a single stretch mark. Let me know as well. Um, what pushed me to actually do this video was the amount of women that said yes, please We want to know how you lost it cuz girl. I lost it. And let me even tell you guys this one. I have not exercised I only exercised when I was pregnant my first trimester um, I I walked one mile every day. I've not said oh can you take a walk Nisale. I haven't I haven't worn my trainers. They're all filled with dust. I haven't exercised guys Nepa has taken like it's a sign that I should shut the hell up and get out of here Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye, guys.